Some claim they felt the world move yesterday when the Synod released its midterm report on how the Catholic Church will address things like same sex and irregular relationships. Bishop Kevin, Kevin Rhodes explained what the report actually means for the church. And News Channel 15's Megan Royce spoke with the bishop and joins us now from Studio 15 with what she uncovered. Megan? Well, Heather, many people around the world and even some here locally think comments made yesterday by bishops at the Vatican mean the Catholic Church will change its teaching. Bishop Rhodes says the teachings won't be changing. The Synod of Bishops is simply looking at how the church can become more welcoming. I don't think it's accurate to say there is a seismic shift taking place in the church. It was comments made yesterday from the Vatican that has stirred controversy. Bishop Rhodes says the bishops aren't talking about changing the so, teachings, just becoming more welcoming. Pope Francis is already showing, and he, he uses the words, word of accompaniment, that we need to accompany people who are in difficult situations, not push them away. And I agree with him wholeheartedly on that. Something Bishop Rhodes says the diocese here has been working on. We have ministries for the separated, divorced, and the divorced and remarried and for persons with homosexual inclinations. I don't want anyone to feel excluded from the warmth of the church's love. In becoming more welcoming, Bishop Rhodes says they are looking at the language the church uses. For instance, referring to people who are divorced and remarried as living in sin. The bishops are, are saying is, you know, sometimes using that language just hurts people and turns them away. That you know, is it necessary to be using that language? Now, Pope Francis won't release the final document from the Senate until sometime in 2016. Megan Royce, News Channel 15.